Okay, so uh, we have uh, repositioned to another site of the uh, old Montebello Coal and Transportation Company. They're coal mines dating back to the Civil War era. And uh, I said, you know, you're on the right path when you see all that coal sitting there. And the old rail bed, Montevallo Coal Company, or Coal and Transportation Company's own uh, railroad. The rail bed is right here. They've been doing a lot of timbering out here, so I'm surprised it's still there. But uh, the uh, coal mine is supposed to be right up over here, uh, adjacent to the rail bed. And this rail bed actually goes back to the Civil War, right here. Right, you can see they've been using this as a service road because there's some of those gas wells further down. But this is the actual rail bed right here. I right, will see if we can find this mine. Uh, so at the uh, old Civil War coal mine, I think it is right over here. And they had a little tramway bed right here. And it connected up with the railroad. I don't know how they loaded it into the rail cars, but this is the actual rail bed, and this goes back to the Civil War era, right here. So, it's probably good somebody's using it as a service road, keep it from getting overgrown. So, we're, uh, we're going to be hiking down this uh, rail bed looking for the other mines here. Okay, so uh, we are actually inside the old Civil War era rail bed cut heading to these other mines. And you can see this is, they even came through here, they're, they're timbering. They actually came through the rail bed cut, getting timber out. But, uh, but anyway, this was built during the Civil War up at these other coal mines they actually called them pits back then uh the english term and uh wells and cornwall they britain they called coal mines pits because most of them were shaft mines so the name stuck over here for a long time so a lot of the coal mines are called uh pit mines but this is the actual actual rail bed here so I don't know, maybe they did us a favor by cutting some of this stuff down. But, uh, very rare you can find an abandoned Civil War era rail bed still intact that hasn't been destroyed or developed over. So, we'll go ahead and keep going this way. And we've got a little bit of ways to go to get to the mines, but uh, hopefully it'll be worth it. Okay, just making our way down the rail bed cut right here. You can see, man, they're just timbering it everywhere. So, we're hoping that the uh, mines will be intact. But uh, this is the rail bed right here. Gotta get around all these fallen trees.
southern loblolly pine. Tall pine. Right there. Alright. Yeah, this isn't, uh, this is uh, definitely some difficult walking. So anyway, straight ahead where Mr. Box is headed. That's where we're going. Okay, so we just came through the rail bed, the small cut. You've got all the timbering going on here. So it looks like they've stopped right here. And uh, so, yeah, thank goodness, man, get out of that stuff. So this is the rail bed right here. And straight ahead should be two mines. And then further back should be two more. And what you got right here are old coal tailings piles. I mean, dating back to the Civil War era, right here. So, uh, uh, we we're, were wondering if it might be destroyed. And straight ahead, man, I think there's one, one of them's right there. So, Yeah, Mr. Box, he's heading right for it. But anyway, this right here, they had a uh, trussle going across, a wooden trussle. So the other mines will be further back. But what you got here are a lot of tail tailings piles right here. So, hide. So the rail line came all the way back here. All right. We'll uh, be taking a look around here for sure. Just glad uh, we were worried that the timbering would have come through here and just destroyed this historical railroad and coal mine site, Civil War era. Glad it didn't. Okay, so you got your rail bed right there. There was a trussle coming across. Mr. Box is going down there to check out this one mine. He says it's open. And uh, he said this is sealed possibly by the Works Progress Administration. But this was it. This is one of the uh, coal mine bids right here from the Montebello Coal and Transportation Company. Huh. Yeah. Looks like it's got some concrete on it right there. Yeah, looks like they concreted that up. Huh. Can't tell anymore because all the sand's down. But anyway, this was a pretty sizable cold drift mine right here. We'll go over here and check out this one the little Mr. Box was looking at. Hi, right, well, this was the other uh, coal mine pit. It looks like Mr. Box. He is not going to be denied entry. There he goes. He is gone. Go in on your stomach. Okay, I'll come in there in just a second. All right. Can you give me a favor and knock my bag? Sure, sure, sure will. All right, so we're going to take a look around here for a short while. And then the other two coal mines are further in the back along the rail bed. So, just glad that timbering didn't get over here. Mr. Box, he's gone on inside the uh, uh, Civil War era coal mine. I'm gonna come behind him in a few minutes up under this ridge. But uh, I noticed uh, this uh, concrete base here. I'm not sure what that is, but what I did see over there was another coal drift mine. So I was just taking a break for I was gonna go in. So, figured it out. It's probably, probably one right there too. Let's see. Pays to wear boots, man. Huh. That looks like concrete on top of that almost. Let's see what we got going on here. 
Oh yeah. But this one, that definitely is an air shaft. And that's flooded. You can actually see the uh, drill marks right there. Pretty interesting. We'll go check this one out over here in just a second. So this is that air shaft over there. It's flooded. And this is another cold drift mine. Right here now. I don't... Yeah, look at that. They put a uh, wall up on that thing. Let's see. Um, yeah. Yeah. Make sure there's no uh, snakes or anything, but... Man, that's open. Wow. All right, well... I... May have to come back and check this one out. I'll go over there. I'm gonna head into the mine where Mr. Box has had, but this was not on the radar, so this was kind of a this is kind of a bonus right here. Alright. Okay, so uh, that's where Mr. Box went through. All right, man, looks pretty interesting. That's some old brick right there, man. So the entrance is, I'm halfway hanging out the entrance to this. So, uh, anyway, I'll head down there in just a second. Okay, so you can see they had this break up right here. All right. So, here's the coal mine right here. So let me get situated. I'll come on in. I see Mr. Box's lighter right there. All right. Okay, so you can, you can see this was the main entrance. And that was some little side entrance, like a manway entrance right there see they had that breaked up don't really see that too often where you've got uh, bricks lining a coal mine entrance right there but uh, it's pretty impressive but uh, th this this coal mine is Civil War that's what makes it so historic uh, how many times can you say you went in a Civil War coal mine uh, I don't think not too many, not too many people can, I guess, but anyway, that's the coal seam, I think, or right down there, it's supposed to have about a four foot coal seam, maybe four to six feet, but, uh, pretty impressive, I mean, you got some of the old bricks right there, so, anyway, man, this has probably got to be the biggest haulage away for a coal coal mine I've seen I mean it's impressive so we'll make our way on down
and it's uh, hard to believe you still got that timber, these timber supports still, the remains of them right here. I mean, not much is left of that. Well, there's the uh, there's the coal seam right there. That is reputed to be one of the best coal seams in the state of Alabama, right there. So, huh? That's a piece of iron. Sure, that was four. Hey, that jammed into the side. Yeah, you just don't see coal mines. You got some more. Now, you know, this could have been where they had some torches. You know, lanterns coming in here. There's another one right there. Yeah. Could I, could be that's what it was. But that's that's old iron right there. Alright. Huh. Look at that. I got that blocked up with bricks right there. Could have been a that could have been coming out of the other mine right there. I think it is. So got no underground maps on these mines, so this is just sheer guesswork. But anyway, look around here for a few minutes more. We'll make our way down to where Mr. Box is. Okay, so Mr. Box is further down this way right here. Man, I can't believe this goes this far. See, you got some more of those. Definitely, and this is where they had to have torches. Got gotcha. you. Okay. All right, there's an old insulator right there now. I mean, they had these mines closed and they came back and opened them up in the early 1900s, but uh, just really don't have any information on that. But you can tell. That's an insider. So those up there, that was not for the torches or anything. So those were for the insulators. So it's good to see one. Otherwise, you're just guessing. So, all right, Mr. Box said he's heading to another chamber in the mine. So I'll catch up to him in a minute. Okay, I uh, came on down to this pocket here. Mr. Box was. 
that uh, that right there uh, has been sealed up with uh, some rough grout, maybe concrete, and you can see the stacked rocks right there. And you got some old timber support remains right there. A lot of fossils, man. Yeah. Oh, I got you, man. You're going into the other slope. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, these weren't drift mines, man. These were slopes. So, all right. Looks like it keeps going. Wow. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. I see it. All right. Well, I'll come over there in just a second. Okay. Uh, we got a, the other uh, parallel slope next to us. They had it bricked off right here. So there's an opening. Mr. Box went through it. So I'm going to go down there. This slope back here, it keeps going. So I came over here, got another insulator up there on the wall. So, and you got to... Uh, section of rail right there. And they actually used rail to buttress up this wall, man. Yeah, I don't I feel for the people that had to raise that above their head. So that's a sectional rail on top too. So you got the wall on the other side. So I'll go on through and join Mr. Fox. So I just came through that hole where that glow stick is. Mr. Box came on ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty impressive, man. Check out the size of the paper. I see it just sticking out of the ground. Yeah, it's still got the uh, cross ties here. You've got a wooden prop. Got right above you. Yeah. Look right there to your right. Yeah, they might have been coming back in here. They, unless they were using these as truck mines, they could have been. They could have reopened these as truck mines. I, but these all go back to the Civil War, man. So somebody came in here later on, reopened them, and started doing some serious work. Well, man, this is impressive. No, I'm good. He said the water right where his line is, that's where the water is. 
so you're eventually going to hit water. I don't care what kind of mine you go into around here, you're going to hit the water. But, uh, wow, most, most impressive right here. So. Get a, uh, you can tell they shut this mine off. They had a, a wooden barrier right there to block it off. The remains of it. Mr. Bog said they kind of used some kind of concreting. Right there, there's the coal seam. That's old. So, he said the water's down here. Yeah. Now, one cool thing is. Uh, sticking out to the wall, going all the way down. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, I'll walk down there. All right. So, he said the water's down here, but I'll walk down here anyway. And it's incredible headroom. It's like uh, six, seven feet. Uh, so finally see some cross ties or something here. Of course you got the coal seam. Yeah, that's a cross tie. See if we can get on down here for the water for just a minute. Okay, so uh, came on down here to where the water is. You can see all of this is usually underwater right here. Hasn't been for some time because it's dry, but that's it. as far as you can go. All right. We'll go ahead and head on back up. We're gonna make our way on out because we got some more mines to check, hopefully. Okay, so we're uh, making our way back up out of the mine. And, uh, there's a lot of fossil remains, you know, in these mines. You see them on the floor. You know, when they were digging out this slope, and sometimes the remains are on the ceiling. You see, that is fossilized tree right there. Uh, actually, see the skin of it right there. Uh, that's pretty, pretty neat. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to this mine. So uh, we're coming out of the mine, and Mr. Box just happened to look over. It's not as impressive as uh, one mile we were in with the fossilized tree, but that is a section of an upright fossilized tree. That's pretty impressive. So good find. So we'll go ahead and keep making a way on out. Okay, maybe to back up here I'm fixing to slither slither on out into the daylight here so that was this was excellent I'm gonna jump Mr. Box gonna come on up behind me fantastic uh, 
fantastic underground trip. So Mr. Box is coming on out. Well, the sun is uh, really out. Yeah, the sun came out in a hurry. Yeah, a little bit of a squeeze coming out, but that. Yeah, dude. There you go. All right, man. Uh, so the main slope entrance was right here. So they just, after they bricked it up, they must have just covered it up with dirt. But uh, there's a way in. You just can't be uh, fat. <laughs> That's for sure. No offense to fat people. <laughs>